Now they just let Jalen Hurts run the ball on fourth and three. Like you stop him, you win the game. Of course they're not gonna stop him. They're gonna make this game, this Colts game, as suspenseful as possible. They're gonna make the Eagles win by a point or something. And they they have to win by seven. I thought I saw one point on the point line. I was about to shit myself. Let's see what oh the way Jeff Saturday looks, it looks like he knows he's gonna lose. He's not a good actor. He hasn't been doing this long enough. He can't really contain himself. He's really showing his hand. Let's see what they do on second down here. The Eagles. But just Saturday Saturday, the way he's looking, he looks like someone pissed in his Cheerios, man. Quarterback keep. He was supposed to give it, guys. Look at the running back. The running back literally ran in. The whole defense is keying on Jalen Hurts now because he got the first down and he ran the last two quarters. So they were keying on him. He should have handed it off to get their eyes off of him for one play. But now they're just like, oh, you're keeping it every time. And there's Atlanta's kicker. It's the witching hour for you. We'll see. Of course. Walks right on through. I'm not surprised. That's why Jeff Saturday was looking like he saw a ghost. That's probably the best way to describe it. He saw another flipping ghost, guys. Let's just say he did not like what he saw. I'm not the least bit surprised at all. Like, not even a little bit. I knew them Giants were going to take the L there, bro. It was just too, like, the point line, everything was fishy about this game. It just wasn't a good matchup. The Giants are more based on defense and running the ball. The Lions, they have an offense, man. They can run up the, the field on you guys. But they're just that they're inconsistent, and their defense is very inconsistent. But this team can score. Their problem has never been scoring. I can't believe that this game is so low scoring. It seems like the NFL doesn't know what they want to do with this game. I picked the Patriots to win this one, I think. I think, yeah, I picked the Pats to win that one. So, literally, it's going to come down to a field goal. We'll see, man. I mean, it could come down to a touchdown, but the way this game's been going, we'll see, man. Sack, 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 sack. Now the Pats get the ball back. Let's see if they can do something with it, though. This means nothing if they can't do anything with it, guys. Literally, it means nothing.
They haven't, wow. They haven't crossed their own 35. I find that hard to believe. Matt Ryan almost just threw a pick. Holy tits. Two? Or does Indy choke? They got one timeout left. Do I have dumb enough to pick the Eagles? Yeah, it looks like I picked the Eagles to win this. Let's see. I picked the Eagles to win this mother sucker. But I picked the Colts to cover, so that's smart of me. So the Colts are going to cover, so I, I, did, I covered my ass. I covered my ass here, so... We'll see if the Eagles win. I don't care. The weekly picks mean nothing to me, honestly. It's the covering that matters. Looks like we covered our ass there. With basically all these games, we covered our ass, it looks like, except for the Bills game. We were wrong about that. Definitely were wrong about the Bills game. But every other game, bro, <laughs> we're on point. We're literally on point so far. We've gotten every game correct except for the Bills game. Actually, I got to see the score on that. They haven't shown the score of the Bills game in a minute, so I don't know. That's the only game I'm unsure of. Every other game we've picked correctly. Let's see what happens here. Why does Jalen Hurts look like... What is he looking like right now? Look at his face. He doesn't look too thrilled. And Atlanta wins, so we cover that one, guys. So we're right about the Falcons game. We picked them to win, and we got the cover. Good. You know what. We're trying not to curse too much. <laughs> Let's go. So Philly gets a what? A sack? All right, whatever. I don't care what happens with this game, guys. Because Indy covers right now. Philly needed to win by seven or more. I mean, I don't see Philly trying to score again, guys. I think they're just going to need a ball and win the game. So we get them to win the game, and we get the Colts to cover. It's awesome when I can pick both right. <laughs> when I can pick the winner and the cover properly, that's, that's literally awesome. It's a good feeling when you can do that. They haven't shown the Bills game. I'm trying to see if it's on the bottom now, man. It's not there either. Last time I saw the Bills score, they were winning 17 to 12. I know 22 to 17, something like that. It was it was like a five point game, and the Bills have to win by three. So I think they're gonna cover that. I think that's the game I I was I jumped out on a limb on. Because uh, the, the same thing, though, in my defense, I thought they were going to be playing in Buffalo. So I was never able to switch my pick around when I found out they were playing in a dome. That changes everything. If they played in that storm, there's no way the Bills beat them. Because the Browns are built to run the ball and play defense. It would have been built for them. But the NFL knew it, and they had to switch venues, and also people traveling. It, just, it, it was a mess, guys. It was a complete mess. So that's the only reason the Bills win. You see these games, if these teams see each other and Lamar, not Lamar, uh, Deshaun Watson's there and it's a neutral field, even outside, I pick the Browns. All right, so Indy loses, but they cover, so that's good. Let's see what happens here. Atlanta, and Atlanta seals the deal. Atlanta seals the deal, guys. So we're right about every game except for the Bills game so far. That's what's up. We're right about every game. Except the Bills game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is Justin Fields hurt or is that just for show? <laughs> They're going to be talking about that all week, guys. You already know. 
They're going to be talking about that all effing week. You already know, guys. Oh, my gosh. He's, like, grimacing, moving his shoulder around. Like, as if that was the reason he lost. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, stop. Like, the acting sometimes is just too much. It's like, bro, I'm not falling for that at all. The Giants, yeah, they're done. The Giants, no matter what they do, yeah, they can score again. They can do whatever they want. This game's over. No one saw that coming. I saw this coming on Monday, guys. I made my video on Thursday. People probably thought I was crazy. 67% of the money was on the Giants. See, guys, all the game, the three games that I told you to watch out for and all the money was on the other team, they ended up losing. So, <laughs> except for the Commanders. I knew the Commanders was a, one of those games where it's like, yeah, we can't even bluff that game. The Texans stink so bad. Like, the, like the Texans are the worst, clearly the worst team in the league. Like, right now, we're starting to see some separation. You can't even act them out a win anymore. Like, it's like... You can't even pretend to let them win. They're, they're just too bad. They're awful. They're not a good team at all. They might win one more game. A lucky one, but like you really can't justify it. Break the curse? Out of bounds and incomplete. Patriots? Wow. Is it, I guess this game's going to overtime. Like, what are they doing with this game? That's phony, or if that's what it is. It's hard to say these days, man. Looks like they're trying to give the Jets a little something. If the Jets win against the Patriots two times, that'll be the first time in, like, I would want to say, like, I can't even tell you when. Like, when was the last time the Jets beat the Pats twice in a season? Like, somebody's going to have to look that up and leave that in the comments because I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I 
third and one. This fucks up everything. Bruh, if the Ravens score again. Oh man, if the Ravens score again, that means Baker Mayfield screwed us. I think ba Baker just screwed our perfection. I hate you, Baker. Like, you really just have to do that, man. You, you just couldn't help yourself, guys. Like, Baker Mayfield can't help us. Oh my god, man. Like, he really can't help himself. Dang, they can't figure out what they want to do with this game. This game's going to OT. This, this is a very boring game, though. 3-3? Three, three? Like, what are we doing? Thank god this wasn't a Monday night game. Like, thank god. I'm just grateful for that. Three straight. Huh. I didn't think they had three straight. That's actually. Wow. Whoa, look at this. Oh, my God. There you go, guys. And the Pats are going to cover. There we go. Now we just got to see what happens with that Panthers game. There it is. There it is. That's, that's it, man. I don't even know why they punted it to him. Show us the replay on this. Like, Salah, you got to be a better coach than that. Even though this is your second year, you got to know you can't punt the ball with the last play of the game to a punt return. Even though he may be unknown, like you just can't punt it to him. You just got to punt it out of bounds and let the offense beat you because they haven't been beating you. Special teams is such a wild card, man. You just never know what's going to happen. A muff could happen. That's probably what he was hoping for, a muff. Or something, but like the other side of it is this: you give up a touchdown. If that's man, that's coaching right there. It's all coaching and lack thereof. You you have to do better than that, man. I'm sorry, you just have to. I I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't have any type of... This doesn't dent my emotions at all. Like, I don't care, but, like, coaching-wise and just football-wise, it just it doesn't make sense. Oh, it's a clip. Oh, they called a clip. That's a clip. Guys, guys, what am I hearing? Am I hearing the guy on NFL Network or uh, the Red Zone Network calling out the NFL for not calling a penalty on purpose? That was a block in the back. But well, is he just calling the NFL out right now on their BS, on their own show? Can you imagine that? Will anything be done about it, though, is the question. I think we know the answer to that. Like, nothing will absolutely be done about that. You can bet your last dollar on that. Nothing's going to be done about that. I thought you can challenge calls and challenge plays that are penalties. That's what I thought. I thought, isn't that a new thing this year where you can challenge things? And if you see a penalty, you can challenge? I would challenge that. Like, why wouldn't you challenge that? 
Man, we don't care about this game. Are they? Unless we see another stupid return or something ridiculously dumb. I'm ready for some stupid. I'm ready for the stupidest thing to occur. If they were smart, they should just squib kick it. Kick it on the dirt. Oh, why are you kicking it in the air? They should have kicked it in the dirt. What is he doing? The dude runs out of bounds. <laughs> oh my god. And you guys think this stuff is real. This dude just ran out of bounds. But the NFL is real though, right? Sure. Miss me with that crap. Please miss me with that crap. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, what's going on with this game? All right, so, yeah, we didn't clear this one. So we were wrong about this game. So this game we were wrong about. And, oh, no. Is Lamar about to score again? No, they didn't score, guys. Holy crap. Our, uh, we're still alive here, it looks like. We're still alive somehow. I couldn't tell you how, but hey, false start. I look like off oh, sides if anything. Jesus, am I missing something? In? How though? I'm actually dumbfounded by that. I'm trying to figure out how that could be. Jacoby. I don't even know how that got through. How the hell did that pass get through? That didn't even seem like anything real. And they won't show it again. We want to see that ball get through there. Like, how did that even happen? Like, how? We need some explanations. So saying that Carolina is cutting in to, to this lead or what are we saying is going to happen here because they're down by 10. Ravens needed to win by 13 so we're in the clear unless he throws a pick six which is highly possible this is Baker Mayfield so I'm just waiting for like a pick six or something to happen. I just want to see how this Carolina game ends, and then we'll cut this video. Are you kidding me? Guys, 
And this is what I always say about Baker Mayfield, man. He's incapable of throwing from the pocket consistently because he's too short. Balls get batted, balls get kicked, games get ended, games get lost. So that's how it ends, guys. Looks like the Browns score a late touchdown. So look at Baker, throws it right at the guy and then stands there and then it goes right into the guy's hand. Like this dude's just minding his own business and it lands in his lap. Like, oh, thank you. And that's what happens when you have a 5'11 quarterback in the NFL. And it's going to happen often. So get used to it. Thanks for watching, guys.